and welcome to another episode of Alpha Technics. In this episode, I shall be cleaning up the door mechanism for the window quarter light and the striker plate using an ultrasonic cleaner. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and like my videos. If you've been following up to now, this is part four of the restoration of my doors, converting them from steel to carbon on my Alpha GTV. door locking uh, mechanisms, the striker plate. So when the door comes in here, it's got a bit of wear on here, which is not uh, too uncommon, but also up here. So I think where really the, the door has, has dropped, uh, the reason why we've got the issue with the, the hinge. So the wear on here and the wear on here is a telltale sign that it's, it's lower than it should be. I'm going to take this off, clean it up and rebuild it. With the striker plate off, you can see that what I was talking about on the car is that this, this wear here. Now I've got it removed, there's a lot of grime and dirt in here. This is a good component to put in a um, in an ultrasonic bath, along with some other components that I've got, and it will come up uh, really well. Get a polish and clean up. It's just aluminium, um, and uh, regrease it. Uh, take the spring out and give it a good clean. I want to try and clean this up now. I'm going to use my ultrasonic cleaner. This is probably the best thing to use for this type of thing. I've removed most of the grime off just with a cloth and some brake cleaner. I'm not going to just use um, some soap and water for this process. There are other medias you can use. Um, I'm sure you could use brake cleaner and paraffin, but to start off with, I'm going to just use uh, soap and water, just some um, washing liquid, which I just got detergent and a, a grease degreaser in. Not bad. Okay, I can say there's some improvement there, but it's going to need a little bit more agitation, perhaps. I need to need a wire brush. This is grease grime I'm trying to get off this. It's not really easy just for water and detergent to use. Yeah, the water's getting dirtier. Put it in a bit longer. Uh, that might improve it, but I'm just going to give it a little extra wipe. The clean just finished doing uh, another three minute cycle, and I'm going to do this in the window wind uh, bottom for the quarter line and it's come up really well. And I did agitate it a lot with some brake cleaner and, um, and, a, and a, just a brush to begin with and then put it in here the final dip now. And that will start to corrode once it's dry uh, and certainly well in, the, in moist condition, conditions. So a great protector is just using WD-40 all over and uh, just just to give it a, a film of um, protection, put it back in the car, and that's good to go. Again, here, this has been in here for its twice at, uh, another session, so six minutes altogether. Just a little bit there, just need to still need to get out. Nice and clean now. The water's a bit dirty. This is a combination now of some brake cleaner that was on the parts first of all, uh, and the water, normal water from the from the tap and uh, some some washing up liquid but yeah i think that's a success ultrasonic cleaner is um is a great great tool for the workshop this is a small one i've also got a bigger one for uh things like carburetors which i haven't used yet i did um did post a, a video on youtube uh some months ago of just you know, getting out of the box and having a quick look at it but i haven't used it yet that'll be coming up in a, in a future video soon Now that's dry, quick spray with some uh, WD-40 or DT-5 will just preserve that for many years to come. Well thanks for watching and there will be many more exciting videos coming shortly.